Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make wavy, wheezy type beats from scratch. Let's get right into it. So I have this uh, Spitfire Labs plugin and I have a guitar a guitar sample right here. We're just going to make a quick little melody. something really simple. Now I'm going to add some more notes to make it more complex and make it sound better. Alright, now that we have that, I'm going to select all using control A. And I'm going to do Alt R, which randomizes the velocities. Then I'm going to do Alt S, which strumizes it. And it's going to sound a lot more natural and a lot better. All right. Nice. Now I'm going to add some reverb on that. Just a little bit. And some stereo shaper. That sounds pretty good. Now I'm gonna get another textural sound, maybe a pad. I'm just gonna add one little hit at the beginning. And that just adds a little bit of depth in the background. Now I'm gonna find another textural sound and I'm gonna play in some chords. I'm gonna turn the attack down a little bit on this sound, just so it hits a little bit quicker. And let's do one more sound for the melody. Let's do a, um, let's do, let's do a piano, yeah, let's do a piano. All right, so I got this piano from Expand. I'm just gonna click in a little melody. That's good. I like that a lot. Okay. Some reverb. Alright, let's export that melody. Actually, let's split it up and make the loop real quick. So I wanted to start with just the guitar and then bring in some stuff gradually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, so let's get that. So this is in C minor. Maybe I'll try to like change the pitch. Maybe try like D minor. That sounds pretty good. I like that. Um, now let's get started on the drums. Actually, we're gonna do 
808 first, so I'm gonna get a good 808 for that. Alright, so for your 808s, you want to make sure it hits super hard and it's a shorter 808. And you just want to, you know, place them in where it sounds good. You also want to give a lot of space in between just to leave room for the artist. And uh, don't forget to turn on cut yourself. Alright, so this is a pretty simple 808 pattern. I'm gonna probably switch it up later just so it doesn't get repetitive. And then I like to um, layer my 808s with kicks just because it, it hits super hard. So what I do is I paste it in, go to piano roll, alt, k, and that brings it all down to one note. And then, you know, on these like rolls, I'll delete it because I don't think it sounds good. And then I'm gonna. I turn up the velocity all the way on the uh, downbeats just because it just comes in super hard. That's not the right one. Uh, this one, does, you know, all right, right there. put a soft clip around the master just so it doesn't flip over and I'm gonna put a high pass on the melody so that the low frequencies of the melody and the 808 don't clash now let's get some bouncy drums going find a hi-hat midi this is my uh, journey hi-hat kit uh, it's free so it's in the description if you want to get it it's pretty cool I like that bounce I like to layer my open hats with my kick and my 808 it just sounds good I don't know why but That's pretty much the beat. I'm gonna show you how I like to arrange my beats. Actually, no, I'm not. That's gonna take too long. All right, well, that's the beat. I'm gonna arrange it, and you're gonna be able to hear the whole thing while I'm arranging it. I'm gonna speed it up. What up, Jake? That's a thing. That's a thing. And there we have it. That's how we make wavy, wheezy type beats from scratch. Hope you enjoyed that video. 
If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, do whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.